Hi there, Leslie Sansone Williams here. Hope you're having a great day. Wanted to talk to you today about how to find your dream job. It's actually, I've broken it down into five different steps and stay tuned for number five because that's probably one of the most important ones. Um, that's my personal opinion and something that I've had to deal with personally in my life. So. Number one, I would say, what is it that you really want to do? And one of the ways I recommend that you find out, and this is, has nothing to do with a personality test, it's an intuition test. Where do your gifts lie? And yes, you do have gifts. Gifts that God has given you that can be very unique and you're unique. So I would check out a link I've posted below after you watch the video um, that is called the Colby company and I took this analysis and it was really quite on the mark so I would take the it's called the career a and the MO and like M like in Mary MO uh, analysis and I would uh, take that and see what careers they come up with and the analysis they do is pretty in-depth and it'll give you a clue as to where your intuition lies and what your your gifts are what you're good at and mine was right on the mark and personality tests in the past that I've taken were not on the mark in so many instances um, and I think that when you break it down, you break your journey into this field. You, you break it down into steps as you go forward. Write down the research you've done. Keep track of that. Look at that, that career and what are the everyday tasks for that career? Or if it's a business, what are the everyday things that you would do in that business? We've run a plant nursery and we've run a uh, restaurant and I grew up in the food business. Um, in New Jersey was more like a convenience store and I got to watch my grandparents and my uncle and my mother uh, waiting on people all day long and then I watched all the other tasks that they did waiting on people was just tip of the iceberg and so for the career you're looking at you need to break it down into steps to see do I like the steps in that particular career would that be something I enjoy doing every day very very important to do that um, don't be afraid to start in a different position than the one you you want to end up in in the same general area for instance when I started in the legal field um, I started as a legal receptionist legal secretary and I bought the groceries and the office supplies for everyone and I did that for seven months and then I I morphed into a paralegal position which was my dream job and I had to, and that was very important so that I learned every facet of that business and of that career in order to move into, into the paralegal field. I don't call it moving up. Paralegal, being a paralegal is different than those other positions I was in. And it was more suited to my personality and I knew it. So that was my goal, my end game. Okay. Then I would try to find a mentor if there are associations that you can join um, online or in person I would do that and find someone that is willing to sit down and answer questions for you about your particular dream job your end goal and um, there are people out there who, who will do that I talk to paralegal students all the time and I feel that it's important to pass it on as a veteran paralegal that it's my duty to pass it on to the the new the newbies and um, I was given a gift when I was in the first firm of having a, a mentor that had 11 years experience in the field so um, it's important to pass your knowledge on and always remember that that when you you gain the knowledge that you pass it on to and number five is going to be don't listen to the negative comments you know be careful who you share your your dream job idea with only very trusted people who you know will uplift you should be given that information if you share it with just anybody and some current co-workers 
um, sometimes jealousy is there and they won't have the best comments and they won't uplift you and they can be dream killers as well so that's probably one of the most important steps is that keep that dream to yourself a bit and only to a couple trusted people should you share it all right so those are the five steps to achieving your dream job break it down into steps that you can work and one step at a time and track everything you do mark it down almost not like I mean it doesn't have to be a journal it could just be step by step what you did you'll love that when you look back and see how far you've come okay so have a great day and I'll talk to you soon bye bye